What's up guys, Static here, and I've just been uh, experimenting in my Black Aperture test world a little bit. Um, as you're probably aware if you follow me on Facebook, I've been messing around with elevators uh, quite a bit recently. Um, and I wanted to come up with a nice compact level selector. Uh, and so basically this is what I've come up with here and I wanted to show you guys, uh, since I'm actually quite proud of this. Um, Basically what it is, it's a bunch of one block wide RS null latches, and as you can see, they're relatively compact. I mean, um, this whole top section here doesn't actually need to be here. This is just an optional uh, level display, basically. It shows you what you've selected. And as you see, um, it's basically a, more or less a one block, a one button RS null latch array. Um, so when you hit level 2, it selects the level 2 floor, and then when you hit level 4, it resets anything that's selected and selects level 4. That way, uh, you, you can't select multiple destinations at once, same like you can't select multiple floors with the elevator. So this is probably pretty useful for anyone making a minecart station with multiple destinations or anything like that. Now, although I did make this design completely on my own, I do seem to remember a circuit going around quite a while ago now, uh, similar to this, not exactly the same as this, but similar, um, by Blair and Angel Mapper, if I remember correctly. So, although my design is different to theirs, it is in uh, in some ways similar, so I thought I'd just give them a quick shout out if they're <laughs> still around at all. Alright, so as you can see, I've basically taken off all the optional wiring from the top, just so you guys can better see what's going on. And so the basic premise for this RS null is relatively simple. Uh, basically what happens is when you push this button, current goes in two directions. One current drops down to this wire here and goes through the bottom of the latch, and this is our reset line. And the other current goes straight out through the back into the set line. Now the set line is organized, as you can see, with alternating repeaters and redstone. That way when I push a button, only the repeater behind, or redstone behind the button that I push gets powered. Whereas down here, it's redstone the whole way through, so powering this button sends power to the reset line the whole way along. Now, although the two slices of the RS null latch, so this one here and this one here, are slightly different, the premise is exactly the same for how they work. So, what happens is, when you're resetting a null latch, so, uh, for example, what happens to all of these latches that I don't push, is that the power comes down the bottom here, and turns off this torch, which allows this torch to turn on, so that even once the reset line loses power, this torch is still causing this one to stay off. However, when you're setting the latch, power also comes through the top here, and in through this wire. So this means that although both torches get turned off, this one is held off by the current from the, uh, the set repeater, or the set line which means that once the reset line here loses power, um, since the reset and set lines have exactly the same amount of delay, the moment the reset line turns off, this torch here is allowed to turn on and keep this back torch off. And that's what sets the null latch. I hope that made sense. It's a relatively simple concept once you know what's going on. It's just quite difficult to explain. Now, the reason I've had to do this in two slices, just for anyone who's not aware, is that if I was to do exactly the same uh, as this slice sort of thing, uh, there'd be another redstone line going across here where all repeaters would get the same power. So you'd basically make one giant RS null latch. So, yeah, to overcome that, we stagger the design in such a way that wherever there's Wherever we don't want the uh, redstone cross-talking, we alternate repeaters and redstone. Now, you can draw the outputs from a number of places, including the wires or torches back here. And if you place the, uh, the destination display on the front, you can also place torches along the top here and draw power out of the top. So, making this is relatively simple. Um, basically, the way you want to start is or well, the way I like to start is to just sort of outline where you're going to have your button. Um, so we'll do that for both slices. Okay, so that's our button there. And we want to put in our reset line nice and quickly. So um, now because for this design we're going to actually be putting a block here, we can't just put redstone down here and uh, use that to turn off the torch that's going to be on this block. You'll need to pull the power out of this block using some repeaters. So... 
Let's chuck those down there right now. Now, next thing you want to do is just chuck the first torch on top of that block there. So when we power the reset, that's going to try and turn this block here off. Now the next thing you want to do is put in your set line. So we're just going to place a couple of blocks here. And remember, you need to alternate the set line. So one of them is going to be a repeater, and one of them is going to be a redstone dust. Doesn't really matter which is which. Now, once you've got the set line in there, you're going to put the block here that the power... Oops, didn't want to put a delay on that one. The block here that uh, these are going to be sending power through. Now, again, we're going to put uh, some things on the other side of this block here to receive the power. And now if we just put redstone here, the only reason that's lighting up is because the torch is down the bottom here, but if we put redstone and then redstone, when you push the button, you'll see that the power doesn't trans th transfer through the block. So on this back side here, you need to put a repeater, and then you could on this side put a repeater as well, although uh, for reason reasons I'll explain in a moment, this wouldn't work. But just to save on resources as, as well, you can put a redstone dust there, and so the redstone repeater will send power through the block to this redstone here, whereas here the redstone dust is going to power this block, and then the repeater will be able to pull that power through. Okay, so now that we've got this, we're going to put it in our torches that are going to be turned off by, uh, by the set line. Now, as I said, we couldn't put a repeater here for... Uh, reasons to do with the design. The reason being is for this slice we're going to put our torch there. Now if we were to put a repeater here, even though it's receiving power, it's not going to power this torch and turn it off. So we need a redstone dust there. And for this one back here, remember we had to stagger the design because of uh, the, the redstone. We didn't want it to cross talk. So we're going to put the torch for this side on the block like that. All right, and so now we need to put in the connections between these torches, trying to touch, turn this middle torch off. And so basically we're going to draw the power from this torch on that block there, and this one on that block down there. Oh, whoops. So once you've done that, you want to empty out this space beneath these blocks. And again, here we need to alternate redstone and repeaters. So the, the block right there is what this torch is sitting on. And so sending redstone current to that block will turn those torches off however we want to do it. But like I said, we need to alternate. So we'll put a repeater there. So this torch is going to power this dust, which will send power to that repeater, which will turn that torch off. And this torch sends power to this block, which powers this repeater, which powers that line. Simple as that. As you can see, though, the null latch does give off an inverted signal. So when this side is set, this torch is off, and when the sides are not set, the torches are on. So you'd then need to uh, invert the output, or yeah, you'd then need to in invert the output. But that's not too much of a big deal. Now, for an optional destination display on top, it's pretty simple. You'll just place redstone torches on the top like that. You place blocks on top of the redstone torches. That way, when they get powered, this block here is now powered. And you want to place some ground for us to put some wire on. And again, you need to here uh, just alternate repeater and redstone. And then chuck a couple blocks on the front. So these lines are then, when they're set, going to send power to this block. And then you can put a torch on the front. And so... When we select this line, you'll see that that torch turns on, and select that one, that torch turns on. Anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, it was just a little quick one for me. And um, if you did enjoy the tutorial and it taught you something, please do feel free to leave a like, it does help me out quite a bit. If you have any questions at all, again, please feel free to leave those in the comment section down under, and I'll be happy to get back to you on that. And Anyway guys, I'll see you next time.